Hey guys, it is me, Hypersarica, and welcome to a brand new update in Last Dinner Survival. So we've gotten the seven year anniversary update. We've also gotten a couple of new events. We have this Hunter's Instinct event and the anniversary bonuses. So first of all, let's collect the anniversary bonuses because I still haven't collected that. So on day one, we can get these five roasted turkeys and then we can get these bear traps. So for those who don't know, developers have finally added these bear traps to the game. They've actually added even more things. So we can finally craft these bear traps. We can craft these makeshift crossbows, which are pretty decent. I've already tested them out. They do 50 damage. They're not that bad. We can also craft these other crossbows, which are a little bit expensive because they do cost four factory parts and three steel plates plus a bunch of other resources. So that stuff is a bit expensive. So I don't think lots of people are going to be crafting these crossbows, but these makeshift crossbows are pretty nice. And just for those curious and don't know what these bear traps do, let me quickly place a bear trap over here in my own base and I'm gonna step on it and I'll show you what those bear traps do. So if I step on this bear trap, I get stunned for a while. I think they do 15 damage, but here it's done only five damage because we have some armor. And this makeshift crossbow is the crossbow from sector seven. So if you've played sector seven, you already know this crossbow, but it is actually pretty good. I like it. It also does 50 damage to Frenzy Giants at Bunker Alpha, so it's not that bad. But now let's get to the main main event, the Hunter's Instinct event. From this thing, we'll be able to get here a new backpack. We'll be able to get a new skin called Bloodhound. And we will also be able to get a new storage, which is called Sewing Rack. And for easy storage of fabrics, leathers, hides, and fibers in one place. So let's start it. Let's probably go outside because we have a task now. We have to talk to the stranger. So let's talk to the dude. Okay, so such unusual tusks. Hello. Oh, there's a boar. I haven't even seen this. There's a boar. Literally, there's already a dead boar at my base. That's pretty epic. Let's talk to Isabel. Have you seen anything like that? It's not the first strange animal I've stumbled upon here. I'm Isabel, by the way. I'm studying the local fauna for Genesis. Come to the hunting grounds. We could use someone with your skills. I mean, they don't even know what skills I have. Before we go there, I'd like to show you some other things that they've added to the game. So now you can upgrade your machete with this hunting blade. So it just has a passive ability. It doesn't damage animal skins. I'm not really sure if that passive ability and that blueprint will stay in the game forever because this event only lasts for 12 days so who knows but i have a couple of guns i have a makeshift crossbow i think that's enough for now maybe let's craft two bear traps just so that i have something hunter's instinct heaven for studying animals and ways to hunt them looks like that's where isabel the researcher went where did she go? Okay, she went over there, a purple location. We've never had this purple location before. That is pretty cool. Okay, okay, I like that. Okay, so we can get different fish, even rainbow. Wait, did we have rainbow trouts before? No, we did not have these rainbow trouts before. Unusual trout species. Put it into the sample container to earn ecologist reputation. Then we have this emerald salmon, unusual salmon species. Put it in the sample container, blah, blah, blah. And then we have golden carp. Plus, we can get some of this abrasive stuff. You can use it to improve weapons on a bench grinder so that they don't damage animal skin. Okay, interesting. Let's go there. This is going to be our first time visiting the hunting grounds. I like it. I like that it's purple. I don't know why. All of the locations are just green, red, or yellow. It's a first location that's purple. It would be so cool if this location stayed permanently in the game. I haven't even visited it, but I already want it to be permanent because why not? All right, welcome. We have to talk to her now. It can't be. No one has seen those in like seven years. I'm telling you, it was a boar, a huge one. Oh, there you are, finally. Meet Jared. He is the best hunter in the wastelands. Find me after Find me after he shows you everything in here. Okay, Jared, show me what you got. Okay, let's get down to it. Your weapons are no good. They'll just damage the skins. There are some abrasive deposits in the cave. You can use them to sharpen your weapons. Go get some. I'll tell you how to craft a hunting weapon later. Okay, so now we're gonna get abrasive. Do I need a pickaxe for that? Again, if we need it, I do have it in the inbox. Okay, okay, that is interesting. We do have a new location. It is cool. Okay, it is new. For some reason, it reminded me of the Forlorn Fair, but hey, it is different. It's different than the Forlorn Fair. Alrighty, let's go this way then and let's see what we can find. There are so many things to explore. Wait, there's also somebody walking up here. What are those? Some sort of deer. Okay, I'm not going to go and hunt them now. Oh, there is a cave. Who tore those wolves apart like that? I have no idea who did that. Uh, other wolves? Maybe? Well, I got to get this abrasive and for that I do need to have a pickaxe. Luckily, we can go to the inbox tools and there we go. We got a pickaxe here. Let's mine it. Oh no, all of them just attacked me. I mean, I have my makeshift crossbow. I can deal with them quite quickly. Got him. Got him. Now let's get the abrasive material. That stuff should stay in the game. There we go. We've gotten just too abrasive now. And yeah, disappears in 12 days. Disappointed! But at least we've gotten a new resource. That is something. Wait, there's something over here. Oh, that was a pickaxe. 
I did not have to bring my own pickaxe. They just gave me another one. Well, that's awesome. Well, now you know if you haven't been here yet. Hey, now you know that you don't need your own pickaxe. But we have lots of pickaxes in the inbox from all those season passes. So I might as well just use them. Okay, we have more of these items. Maybe I should get them right now, but maybe I'll have to get these abrasive materials later. So for now, I'm just going to keep them. I don't want to ruin anything. I'm just going to talk to Jared right now. Hello, Jared. I got everything. Ooh, a new bench. Did you find the abrasive? Nice. Add it to the bench grinder together with the regular weapons. The abrasive will make arrowheads and blades sharper. That way, they won't damage the skins. Okay, so let's touch the workbench. Let's see what it's all about. We have a spear here already. So we can modify the spears, cleavers, machetes, bows, makeshift crossbows, and crossbows. All right, let's add four of those here. It's going to take us seven minutes. Okay, we can skip it. Probably the first one we can skip only, right? And then we won't be able to skip those spears. Whatever, let's get that spear. We did it. Let's talk to Jared again. Here's my advice. First, track your prey, study its habits, and only then go on a hunt. And record your observations. You can start with deer. They're not particularly dangerous. Tracking stages completed. Okay, so we can do something over here. There we go. Noble deer. Study regular animals to hunt the rare ones. Complete one out of five tracking stages. The hunter wants to put my skills to a real test. The task is simple. Study the deer's habits. You can encounter them in pine bushes, grove, as well as limestone ridge. Okay, so we have to craft a hunting spear. We've already done that. We can get 50 of these dusks, whatever. So we have to kill deer only with a hunting spear. Then we have to kill deer with melee hunting weapon in stealth mode. Put deer antlers into the sample container and find and examine the tracks of the wounded deer and finish it with any hunting weapon. Okay. Kill deer only with a hunting spear. Well, I do have a hunting spear here. So let's try to sneak attack them, I think. We should be able to get a something. There we have killed one deer. We're going to get these antlers, deer antlers. Sample for studying deer. Put it into the sample container to earn ecologist reputation. Okay, we're going to get that. Did I do any other quests? In stealth mode. There we go. We're also doing another quest. Because we're attacking them in stealth mode. One of them is dead. Another deer is dead. And another deer is dead. Okay, let's complete all of that. And wait, does it look different? Yeah, the attack looks different. Check this out because it's modded with a special thing. So now it's a little bit more shiny. The spear is a bit more shiny. Interesting. So do we have any other tasks? There we go. I can collect this. Kill any deer with a hunting spear. Okay, so we have to go and kill a deer. Maybe there's one more around this place. Now they want me to put those samples into the container. But do I really have to do it right now? Maybe. Oh, there's some sort of a stand. Do I have to loot, loot it? We'll unlock later. Okay, so we're going to check that later then. The hunting deer. There are plenty of them in pine bushes. Oh. Okay, I'll go there. So now let's add these antlers to the container. Was the hunt successful? Put the samples over here and get your reward for them from me personally. Okay, cool. Did I get anything useful? I don't think so. Claim the reward from Isabel. Okay, gotta talk to her. So we've gotten a bow. A useless bow. Bow is the, the worst weapon probably in the game. We've gotten a bow. Thanks for nothing. So let's get that bow. Oh, that stuff went to the inbox. And the hunter's token went to the inbox as well. Can be exchanged for items in the trophy market in the hunting grounds. Okay, cool. I'll be generous with rewards as long as you're helping study the fauna. Claws, tusks, fur, and unusual fish are valuable for science. They'll allow me to understand why bears, foxes, and wolves have evolved. And why boars and alligators have switched their habitat. Bring them to the sample container. The more, the better. Okay, let's see what other rewards we can get here. We can get five of these bear traps. Okay, a couple of grenades. A machete. Understandable, a set of armor, a couple of blue crates, a crossbow, some more hunter's tokens. Do we have anything else? Uh, oak seedlings, a couple of landmines, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a new weapon, hunter rifle. Weapon against the most dangerous predators. Doesn't damage animal skin. That's pretty cool. So that, that's a new weapon. That is a new weapon that they've added. Again, will we be able to use it? more than just once because they've also added molotovs during the new year's event but we don't we no longer have those molotovs so that's cool that at least we have a hunter's life rifle maybe it'll be like a collectible item we'll just keep it at the base so i'm excited to get that and we don't really have here anything else we have the ghillie suit and plus we can get 10 titanium bars well it's pretty cool i want to get this hunter's rifle at least something interesting buy something at the trophy market anyone can get hunter's tokens for rare prey uh, those to tokens can be exchanged for trophies at the market. There's plenty of love. I didn't have enough time to read that. So we can buy engine parts 
we can buy vinyl record hunter's instinct maybe pretty cool or a backpack skin for 250 let's probably get the backpack skin right now there we go then we need to level up the reputation and that's how we'll be able to get things we'll be able to get the new storage box thing and then we'll be able to get purple cards and an atv transmission pretty pretty cool track down and defeat rare animals from the hunter's journal oh we've unlocked something else Oh, level five required. We are level two, so we probably need to finish these ones. White wolves! Study regular animals to hunt rare ones. Uh, my next target is the white wolf, a fierce and ruthless predator. But first, we need to track a few wolves in limestone ridge and cliffs and pine bushes. Okay, understandable. But then I have to also deal with the deer here. Okay, I can track them. Oh, you can only track one task at, the, at, the, at a time. I see. Understandable. Have a nice day. Fishing, find Wilson by the pond. We have another task where we have to find Wilson. Interesting. Is there anything else that I can do? There is a chest. Temporary sample box. So maybe here I can store my samples. Is there anything else inside of this place? Oh, there is something. We got to talk to Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Ah, that Wilson. Oh, dude is dead. Dude is dead. So we have to fish here, obviously. I don't have a fishing rod. Can I get this dude's fishing rod? Uh, not really. So we should have some fishing rods here, though. Is it in the tools? There we go. We have a professional fishing rod. That's better than nothing. Let's start using it. Let's fish. We haven't fished. I personally, at least myself, haven't fished in many, many months in this game. So, hey, at least we're going to get some rare fish. That'll be something. And then we can exchange those fish for something else. Wish we could cook them, though. Rainbow trout. Thank you. Put the samples into the container. Can I throw a grenade inside to fish faster? Maybe. Or maybe we can just fish them one by one. Because you do get better fish if you just fish them manually than throwing a grenade. There we go. We've gotten a golden carp. Let's sort of put some of these items here. Let's see what's up. There we go. Oh, so we only get a couple of points. We don't get too many points. Oh, we've just leveled up. Okay, okay. I'll take that. We've gotten 10 charcoal. Hell yeah. That's what I always wanted. I wanted to play this game and get 10 charcoal as a reward. That's nice. I love charcoal. I want to see how many more fish I can get here because I'm pretty sure this location will probably keep resetting every, like, what, 24 hours or something. I'll have to go outside and see the timer. Golden carp. If I use a grenade, I won't be able to even feed them because you can use some sort of an item here. I don't remember how it's called. Barley? Fishing barley or whatever. And you can refeed the fish and you can get more fish. At least that's how it works in the other fishing locations. A golden carp. It says that you can get a new record, like golden carp, 0 0.95 pounds. But what's the point? Like, I don't see those records. So why do we have those records? Kind of weird. In any case, another golden carp with another new record. Emerald salmon. And I think this will be the last fish because I don't see any more fish in the pond. Oh, wait, they don't have even any qualities here or whatever, right? They've got emerald salmon and that's it. I have to use fishing barley, fishing barley, whatever. Yeah, there we go. We have a lot of it. Let's sort of use it at least once. They're going to fed the fish. And do I have any grenades? Let's try to go here. Let's try to get some nades. And let's try to use one if I can. Yes, you can. Can I? That didn't work for some reason. Wait, what if I throw the grenade that way? Okay, it doesn't allow me to throw the grenades anymore. Okay, I threw a nade there. Okay, it doesn't go any deeper in the water. So you cannot use grenades. It doesn't allow you to throw nades here. Okay, so you have to fish that stuff manually. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. We'll be able to fish a bit later because we still have a bunch of other tasks to check out. Let's just give these fish now. We've just leveled up even more. Let's take everything. 15 bandages. I will take that and wait. We can get the alligator skin. Bruh, that's pretty cool. We can get the alligator skin. We can get the boar tusks and other stuff. Okay, okay. Oh, we've just unlocked something here. Now we can start tracking boars as well. I haven't encountered boars in these parts before. I heard they used to be caught for slaughter in the early days of the epidemic. And now they're scouring for food in Pine Grove and forgotten wetlands again. So forgotten wetlands, we did not have that. So we, we can unlock new things then. Epic. Let's just go outside now. We have a bunch of things to do. Let's go outside. Wait, I also need more abrasive material, right? Uh, there's the workbench and I could probably unlock the rest of these items. All of these items require just four abrasive materials. So how about I go back inside of that cave because probably I won't have to come back here. Maybe let's just get the rest of this abrasive material and maybe let's craft something. I'll need to check the tasks. Maybe one of those tasks will require me to use a crossbow or something. And I can only craft two of those weapons apparently because we can only get eight of that abrasive material per day. Unless we auto clear. Uh, so anything up here? 
Oh, we can get more loot. Oh, it's, 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 I cannot go up there. I'm stuck. Can I go around perhaps? I think that's it. Maybe I'll be able to unlock that cave a little bit later. But I cannot go there apparently. I'm stuck. Okay. So what are the tasks with these boars? Kill a boar with a hunting makeshift crossbow. Long ranged hunting weapon. So that's going to be a makeshift crossbow. Kill a boar with any melee hunting weapon with in foggy weather. Okay. Craft a makeshift crossbow. Craft a hunting bow on a grinder. Okay, well, I'm just probably going to get the crossbow for now at least. Let's just drop these things. Let's get it. Let's take it with us. It wasn't full durability. Maybe I should have gotten one at the full durability, but whatever. Let's collect these tusks. And you know what? Let's go outside now. Find and examine the tracks of the wounded deer and finish it with any hunting weapon. So probably all of this stuff is going to be outside. Okay, we've gotten a new event up here. And Forgotten Wetlands, ladies and gentlemen, a new event, a new location. That's epic. Where is it? Ooh, it's purple again. Forgotten Wetlands. We can get alligator skin. We can get a bunch of other items. That's not awesome. I have no idea what is awesome. Oh, this is the oak clearing event. We don't care about that. Let's go to the forgotten wetlands right now, probably. Yeah, let's go there. I want to see. We haven't done the other tasks yet, though. Track down and defeat rare animals and find and examine the tracks of the wounded deer. I haven't even done the wounded deer tracking. Where do I find that wounded deer? Well, whatever. I'm going to go to the forgotten wetlands. Let's see what this place is all about. We should be able to find boars here. Does it say where else we can find boars? So pine bushes, grove, limestone ridge, limestone ridge, pine bushes, and pine grove and forgotten wetlands. Let's go to the forgotten wetlands. We have this. We have, uh, what else? I have a machete, but it doesn't have the right mod on it. So whatever, I'll use a spear perhaps. And uh, let's see. Okay, so these are basic zombies. Maybe, just maybe I'm going to use a... Oh no, didn't mean that. Okay, let's deal with these swamp zombies. Okay, so we do have swamp zombies here. I'm going to kill them with this basic machete. Just because, why not? So, will we see alligators here now? Because we still haven't unlocked them yet. At what level do we even unlock these alligators? I mean, soon we'll be able to unlock the foxes. Then we'll be able to unlock bears at level 25. And uh, you don't see over here, but at level 35, we can unlock these alligators. Pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. All right, we're going to sneak attack this zombie over here. Another swamp zombie. Plus, there are a bunch of boxes. Very cool. I see some sort of a zombie. Somebody's coming after me. Check this out on the minimap. Somebody was coming after us. Who is that? That's a boar. Okay, that's just a boar. Okay. Oh, wow. Do I have to fully, fully kill them? Okay. Do I have to fully kill them with just this crossbow in order to get their things? Or not? I've gotten some tusks. And what about the boar stuff? Okay, so I was able to kill one boar. Great. But... I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. Th there's an alligator! Bro, there's an alligator! I'm getting attacked by an alligator. That's a big... Do I damage this dude? Oh, wow, they do damage me quite a lot. I'm pretty sure my body will stay here if I die. Unless it resets. Maybe it does reset. Bro, the alligator is pretty tough. Okay. Oh, that's it. You can no longer get the skin. As soon as you attack it, the thing just disappears. I see, so it doesn't really matter. You, you cannot attack them with these uh, rough weapons. You have to get that abrasive material. You have to craft the hunting mod for the machete, and only then you can damage those alligators that way. Interesting. And there we go. We've gotten some skin from the alligators. I don't think I would have been able to even unlock. Maybe? Should I use the spear on those alligators? Well, whatever. As soon as I find another alligator, I'll use a spear on that dude. Everything will be all right. I think I see another alligator. I can hear it. It was hissing at me. I see a boar. Okay, we do 14 damage. Okay, so the board gets stunned. Okay, we're gonna avoid that. I've gotten 20 damage. Oh, wow. It damaged me again. Okay, so the more I attack it, the more armor it has. Interesting. Let's get these tusks. Let's continue looting this chest. Let's get this. And we do have a trap here. So how about I... Okay, there's an alligator. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me out. Let me out. Will I have enough time to place this trap? Please? No! Didn't have enough time to place the trap. Whatever. I'm gonna attack this alligator then. Maybe I should get my makeshift crossbow. Stop attacking me! Schmuck. There's 38 damage. Okay, so makeshift crossbow is pretty good, actually. I'm gonna continue attacking it with the makeshift crossbow. Will I be able to get their skin now? 
Even if I haven't unlocked them. Yes, I can get it. Cool. Very cool. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put a bear trap here. One, and maybe I'll put another bear trap so that I just lure those alligators here. These bear traps are quite expensive-ish. They cost five iron. So maybe they're not worth it. Worth it. I've already tried using those bear traps on like the big ones during the raids. It doesn't work on like some sort of other bosses at the transport hub. It doesn't work on the witch. It doesn't work. It doesn't work basically on any bosses. So that's a little bit sad, but uh, it is what it is. We've gotten some of that stuff. I'm going to get the balls because now you need bolts to craft those bear traps. So I might as well start picking up those bolts. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Place bait. You sure you want to place bait? There we go. Just place bait. What's going to happen? Oh, an alligator. An alligator came out of nowhere. Okay, alligator. Come here, schmuck. Come here, schmuck. Step on that trap. I might be stupid, but I'm not an idiot. There we go. Alligator got stuck. I'm going to go here so that once he gets unstuck, I can shoot him more. If I had a machete, it would be a lot easier. There we go. We got another alligator. Cool. That is pretty interesting. This event should stay in the game. Again, if this event ever ends, I understand maybe why they wouldn't want to keep it. But, like, still keep the event. Why not? In the event tab so that everybody can experience it. Why does it last only for 12 days? Because it seems kind of fun. It has a bunch of new mechanics. Wait, why didn't I get anything from the boar? I didn't attack it with a melee weapon. Or did I? I don't know. Well, something happened. Something did happen. It feels like a fun event, and it's only going to last for 12 days. That is very, 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 very weird. Okay, so what else do we have to do? How many boars have I killed? Kill a boar with any long-range hunting weapon. we got to kill 10 boars. Interesting. Have I looted everything else? Okay, there's another swamp zombie. So this location is pretty fun. I do like it. We can probably summon another alligator. Cool, but does this location reset? Or how does it work? I guess soon we'll figure it out. Does it reset and you can clear it an infinite amount of times? Or... Oh, and that's it. I cannot use this thing again. I could only use that stuff once. I guess coming here with a ghillie suit will be better because I'll be able to run faster in the water here in the swamp, but it's definitely doable even without the ghillie suit. Okay, let's leave this place and let's see if I can clear it again or does it reset every like 24 hours or something, every 12 hours maybe. Okay, so let's try to do maybe quests in order. Let's try to go to like whatever pine bushes, grove and limestone ridge. Let's go to the limestone ridge, limestone cliffs and limestone ridge. There we go. Let's go to the limestone ridge and this location is reset. So probably if you die in that location, you will lose your loot. I will have to maybe expect experiment with that but you will probably lose the loot all right so let's see if we can find anything else here we need to kill more deer with a spear oh plus there are wolves we also need to start tracking down wolves i guess and i'll need more of that abrasive material so there's that there go wolf hair cool so we can start killing these wolves with any long-ranged weapon i'll need to start killing these wolves that way and i need to still track down the deer i don't know how to do it oh there we go there's the sign i see i'm gonna attack the deer Tracking stage is completed. There we go. We can do these tasks. It's fun. It's fun. I do believe that this event is fun. It's nice to do something. It's nice to have this task journal. I do enjoy it. It is a fun update. I just wish it was permanent. Even if it's just a one-time thing. Like you complete it and then you can no longer do it. I just wish that everybody could do it then. Sadly, I don't have any long-ranged weapons. I only have my spear. So I'll need to upgrade the crossbow. I'm not going to be probably upgrading the makeshift crossbow. But again, for these boars, you have to kill them with, with a makeshift crossbow. Okay. Because I could have upgraded another crossbow. It has more damage. Okay, there's one more enemy here. Another gray wolf. I will kill it, because why not? So yeah, getting abrasive material might not be the best, because it's kind of hard to get. You get, like, only, what, eight of it per day, so you can get only two melee weapons. So that seems kind of tough, but I will see. Okay, so there are some blood trails. Okay, anything interesting here? So where else do I go? Okay, so some sort of a deer appeared here. It has 24 health instead of 25 health. That's it? Okay, there we go. Well, we hunted this dude down what do we need to do put deer antlers into the sample container so i've put four i need like what six more i need more deer antlers and then we'll be done with that task fully and once we're done with it do i get anything else okay so we're gonna get 250 extra tusks trophies whatever they're called interesting and what about the wolves with melee weapon in stealth mode there we go so that's the third deer then uh, third wolfo interesting what is this feels like a bigger enemy Infected wolf. Ooh, I'm gonna probably try to kill it. Okay, it does only 10 damage, not that much. And I'm gonna be able to get the skin, the hairs, or whatever. Kill an infected wolf with any hunting weapon. There we go, we got that. I need to kill more wolves, and then I have to put their samples into the sample container. Interesting. So I do like this event, I'm not gonna lie. It is fun. It is fun to do something else rather than just like mindlessly killing a bunch of zombies. 
Now we have to mindlessly kill animals here. <laughs> I know, I like it. We have new weapons, we get to upgrade them. I do enjoy that. The As I said, the worst part is that this event seems to last only for like 12 days. That's the worst part about this event. Wait, we have different trophy markets? Wait, there's one trophy market and there's another trophy market. Okay, so you can get these drone controllers, whatever they're called. Flight controllers, that's epic. And here we can get other items. We can get Rottweiler puppies. Interesting. Okay, so to unlock other things, these things unlock at level 20 and 40. And here they also they unlock at level 10 and 30. Okay, okay, okay. Let's drop these samples here. So we were able to get some alligator skins. That's cool. Let's drop everything here. The tusks. Was able to complete any other tasks? Yes, I was able to complete that. That's it. We are done with everything. We are done with this. Now we have to talk to Jared, I guess. Jared wants something from me. Hello, Jared. They say poachers were spotted in pine bushes. Go there and find out who they're hunting. Ooh, so we've completed. Once you complete this section, you get another task. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So before we go anywhere else, I think upgrading these crossbows is awesome. So we should be upgrading the crossbows and machetes. However, the game wants me to craft this hunting bow on a bench grinder, which is kind of useless. I wouldn't want to do it because it's just gonna I'm just gonna waste my abrasive material for that, but whatever. So we have to go to the pine bushes, but hey, before we go to the pine bushes... Oh, there's a bird flying there. That's where we gotta go. Okay, cool, cool. But before we go there, I want to go to the limestone spires and I want to auto-clear this zone at least once to see what kind of items we can get here and how many abrasive materials we can get. Only four! Only four. Can I get more? Nope, we're only getting four abrasive materials and that's it. So we're gonna quickly get the new weapons. Let's get the crossbow. Let's add some of that abrasive material. Let's get our hunting crossbow and let's also get the hunting machete. There we go. We have the hunting blade. We have the hunting arrowheads for the crossbow. And now let's go to the pine bushes. We're gonna test out these weapons there in case I need to test them out. In case I don't need to use those weapons, we have a Glock and the Glock should suffice against anyone we find there. Okay, it's kind of a windy weather. Let's get this crossbow, and let's see. Let's examine the tracks. That's what we gotta do. Uh, looks like it's one of the poachers. Okay, can I loot the box? Hopefully, maybe we'll be able to get something useful in the box. Just some beans. I will take those. Let's get the broken machete. That does not have the upgrade. There we go. The zombie's dead. I don't think these zombies dropped. Nope, they don't drop anything special. Why would they? Oh, we can even see the tusks, the tokens, whatever, in the top left corner near our health. We can see that we have 400 of those tokens. Interesting. I'll probably keep saving up those tokens because I don't know how many tokens you'll need for that workbench. So probably I'm going to keep saving them up. That's probably my tip and trick for you. You'll be able to buy everything later once you level up fully because getting that storage room that you can get over here, the sewing rack. The sewing rack is probably the best reward, plus that ATV transmission. So probably just save up all of your tusks, all of your tokens, whatever they're called. Was this floater bloater killed by a deer? How do you know? Wait for the deer in the grass. Wait, 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 wait. Before we wait for that deer, I want to loot the box. Maybe I'll get something else. A bandage. I'll take it. And where's grass? Oh. Look at this! A black deer! Buggers, and a dude is following the deer. Okay, they're both gonna die. I'm calling it right now. They're both will die. You were supposed to attack stealthily. Joe knew how to stay hidden and he's dead anyway. Wait, there's someone in the bushes. Will they attack me though? Come out, we can see you. Okay, so these poachers are gonna attack me. Well, whatever. I'm gonna get them then. I got my Glock. How do they have that much armor? Bruh, check this out. I barely do five damage to them. Interesting. Track the noble deer. So, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So, poachers are... Uh, am I better than these poachers? I'm worse than these poachers. Because I killed the poachers to go and kill the deer. Like, I'm literally worse than the poachers. Because I've also killed those poachers. Interesting. Okay. Let's deal with them. It only does three damage. Hunt down the noble deer. Okay. Come back, schmuck! I'm gonna use my crossbow shot on you. I'm gonna run after you. Okay. I can sneak attack you again, probably. 
There we go. The dude's dead. Am I going to get anything useful? I'll get the deer antlers. Go to the hunting grounds. Okay, we're going to go back to the hunting grounds. I have no idea why I had to kill those poachers because those poachers attacked me. But still, kind of didn't make much sense why they wanted to kill me. But whatever, let's dip out of here. Let's go back to the hunting grounds now. It looks like we have to talk to Jared again. It's your first rare animal. Congratulations. Isabel will examine it and you keep it up. The hunt is over. Noble deer hunt. There we go. So that thing is completely done. Now we can get the rewards. We are level eight in hunting here. Dude, this thing has to stay. Why this update only lasts for 12 days? I can't understand that. It makes no sense. Why isn't it permanent? It'd be so cool. It would be so, so cool. Bring more samples to the container. Okay, I will get all of the rewards. And let's drop some stuff in the container. Then let's drop the deer antlers. Oh, I cannot drop any more deer antlers because I filled it up already for today. Interesting. Okay, understandable, understandable. Hunter's instinct. So track down and defeat rare animals from the hunter's journal. That's the task. So probably we'll have to defeat all of these six animals. The deer, the wolves, boars, foxes, bears, and then alligators interesting so we have 650 of those tokens we could like buy something here maybe like we could buy this vinyl record but i'm probably just gonna keep saving up these tokens so that i can buy that sewing rack because i think it might cost lots of these tokens so i'd rather save them up you can even buy a tactical backpack at level 20 here that's great so overall i do like the update it's great it's fun it has lots of new mechanics i just wish it stayed permanently instead of just 12 days if it wasn't a temporary event it would have been an amazing update but i'm still excited to continue this update even though it's a temporary one i want to get that new storage hopefully you're enjoying this update as well and let me know your thoughts about this update and i highly suggest you check it out my new scum survival let's play click here on the second card and you'll get my everything you need to know about last and earth survival video or hop over to my channel go to playlists and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and see you in the next one